HP, what is HP upgrade? Why we use HP upgrade? What is the importance of HP upgrade? So today we will discuss about HP upgrade. For example, if you are at basis support pack nine, basis support pack nine, and you would like to move to basis seven point seven zero two HP fifteen. Is called a patch upgrade. Called as a patch upgrade, small patch upgrade. Okay. Then what we need to do? We need to take one by one steps and do that. It will take minimum four to five hours. We can do this with the help of some tool also, or we can do this with the help of uh, uh, spam tool also. Spam transfer also, but EHP upgrade it changes entire system coding, entire system functionality. Functionality two weeks, it's about 24 hours or 32 downtime. This is just as a yeah, patch upgrade. But what is EHP upgrade? EHP upgrade means it changes the whole functionality of the system, and your system will be down for 24 hours to 36 hours. But it requires a good downtime for you. It requires a maximum down from downtown from your side okay so you see here we discussed about basis as see here seven basis 702 and basis 702 is not changing but here ehp4 ehp5 ehp6 ehp7 these are the and ehp means enhancement pack version okay when we want to move from ehp4 to ehp5 ehp6 or ehp7 it can you can call it as EHP upgrade. You can call it as EHP upgrade. Okay, like here we see upgrade from EHP four to EHP six. This is what we call. This is what we call it as a EHP upgrade. Okay, first team visits the client place. Who are the client? We have to visit the client place after signing the agreement or contract. Okay and just copy your entire production data into a sandbox with the same configuration. It means what? First, when you visit the client place, first client task, how much how much time it will take for my server to do upgrade, ESP upgrade? You never did anything, but sir, we don't know. We need to check, first of all, we need to check all technicality of a system, functionality of a system, all process or you know, system. After that, we can tell but we need to first do same upgradation in your sandbox. So we need your sandbox system with same hardware which you have in production. So what, what we do, you just copy your entire data from production server to sandbox and you start upgrading. You start HP upgrading which system on that uh, pre-production system okay so where you will find you will find many errors like it for uh, initially it will take minimum 20 25 days to upgrade a system because initially it gives many errors it stops at many places but what you need to do you have to write it down each and every point where it stopped and what time it stopped and what errors it gave Okay, so you have to note it in everything because each error will take one or two days, sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes four hours to solve. You have to contact SAP many times, but you have to point it out everything properly. And you have to, you have to do entire thing in this sandbox. It will take 20, 25 days, but note down everything. Once it's done, once it's done, you have to scrap your system again. You have to scrap your pre process system again or sandbox again. Again, copy same data from production to sandbox and do the things again. But this time, you know on which step you have stuck and what errors you have received and what steps you have taken to resolve that. That means what? You have you have errors also now, you have results also now. At that time, it will take only four days to do same thing. Previously take 20 days, now we take on four days. Now you see everything. Now you dotted down the points. Yeah, this place will take this much time. This place will take this much time. So how to decrease that? Again, scrap it, again do it. 
finally you come to conclusion it will take this much time the upgrade will take 48 hours but in that 24 hours the system is down and uh, only 24 hours system will be down and the system is not available to the end users that is the conclusion then you can tell to the customer ki sir it will take this much time for upgrade your production server they never ask you about development quality development quality you take any time because if you should do something with development you can, development server you can judge you cannot judge the same time for production because development has only 100 gb data but production has 5 tb 10 tb 1 terabyte 2 terabytes data in production so never compile development system quality system with the production system okay now you see what are the pre steps what are the pre steps of your esp first of all you have to take backup of your system which system your source system source system means your production system or development system whichever system you have try to upgrade first of all just take backup and keep it with you in a secure place okay and make change because why because if system failure you are not you are unable if you are unable to upgrade no problem you restore your system to the same manner if you are not able to upgrade no problem you just restore to uh, previous order okay but if you have backup you can do that and make changes to system according to new system. Once you take backup, then start upgrade. Okay. And you have to take backup of RFCs, HTMS, and background jobs. Everything you have to backdate it properly. And make sure at least phrase pay. This should be a must thing. Okay. Here your sum directory. Sum directory means sum means system update manager. It has what minimum? It has to have 50 GB of space. And download directory has to have minimum 10 GB of data, free temporary space. And DIR trans should be have minimum 10 GB space, exactly 10 GB space. And um, here two, three ways are there to upgrade system. If you follow the this uh, shadow system shadow system thing, then you have to be very careful if it is Windows different file system and uh, um, Windows different file system and Unix different file system, you just follow this and uh, make things according to the diagram. And you have to be have free database space, is Q50 GB, but you have to give 150 GB free according to your uh, database, according to your file system, minimum 200 GB keep free space, okay? in the data because when you restart write logs log may increase very fastly so sometimes everything goes right but you are not allowed in a proper space then you have to forcefully stop your upgradation you have to follow all this before start your upgradation adding more memory to the system will not just give your performance during upgrade you need to consider cpu as well as the both work hand in hand see if your system is not performing well and you are till you are using you are telling that key no i will add 100 even more ram and do upgrade not possible you have to increase your cpus also because cpu means cores like nowadays we have 16 cores 32 cores 64 cores even 132 core systems also available in the market nowadays 132 cores okay so depending upon that you have to increase your cores and assign cores and ram because both works hand in hand okay it depends upon the configuration of shadow system and parallelism option so how you would like to do your uh, upgradation depending upon okay if you are upgrading the system with the help of a shadow system, then you need to consider memory for an additional SAP system running under the same machine. Shadow system means, shadow system means you have one physical system, you have one shadow system. The RAM which will require for run a physical system, same RAM, amount of RAM you should to have for a shadow system also. Shadow system means when, when you start upgrade, in real phase, it will create a shadow system and it will upgrade everything shadow system. And once you once you approve, okay, everything is fine. 
then you start right to your original system like patch up bread it rushed everything into temp table i we discussed that you write everything on temp table once it's confirmed key yeah, you are confirmed key or my library him then properly then it will write to your main database and it will change to log location also it will change the log location also after patch here also once the server system is completed and properly then you can switch it to the main system for that reason you need to have a memory for both uh, for server system also and for main system also if the system is presently undersized or the configuration is not sufficient enough to accommodate additional system for 2 3 days then consider increasing memory cpu else is not needed for sure there will be a delay in the phase execution if acceptable for what happen if you are not increasing ram or cpus also no problem this upgrade will done but it will take more time if it is acceptable business you tell business these are ram sir these are cpus you have if i go with this this will this, this will take this much time for upgrade if you are ready with that we will go ahead with the upgrade otherwise you have to increase your ram and cpus before starting upgrade in production server it's all depending upon you if you are ready for do downtime more downtime so no problem if you want if you don't if you want urgently then you have to do this activities okay so prerequisites what are the prerequisites of your upgrade okay so checking your hardware requirement checking the software requirement checking source list of the system source list means what is the actual release then depending upon that you have to decide your target release and main thing meeting of operating system requirements it means what many times you have to do many things in operating system also because some operating systems does not support your target version so you have to change your source version os upgradation also you need to do os patching also you need to do some bug fixes you have to fix on os same thing the upgrade of operating system database system is required sometimes you have in oracle 11 but same oracle version will not support to a target so for that you have to upgrade your oracle to some new release which is acceptable by your target server so you have to do all these things okay the so checking software update manager version and uh, you have to always use new software update manager like we have support sqm 1.0 till support pack 30 we have now we have some 2.0 uh, support pack six seven also available now in the market so depending upon you whichever sum you want whichever is the latest take minus one okay take minus one whichever is whichever is uh, available in the market you have to take minus one checking the structural requirement for above setting the operation modes for the update checking the number of background purses how many background purses you have so you have to set all these things before starting your upgradation making preparation for monitoring area and checking requirement for the modification adjustments the see here we have these things update your payment sent update payment sent to the latest version of eps you know that we discussed this is this we discussed we discussed this in patch upgrade you have to update your patches also like if a target release require in ehp 6 or ehp 7 this this is the this should be spam level so before that before doing upgrade you do all this because it saves your time you can do this with a small downtime okay so it, it saves your time otherwise if you want to do it in upgrade also you can add this even upgrade but it will take more time in upgrade to all these things okay os levels sid ad or sid sap level radius so all clients should be known before starting upgradation, you have to should know all OS level user IDs like SID, ADM, ORA, SID, SAP level users, DDAC passwords, all should be known because at, the, at uh, any time it asks for any password like 00, 0 password, DD password, SAP star password, and triple zero client, the client numbers also. You have to take all the client numbers, all the passwords, and test them two times. Key this password working or not like key at the time of upgradation you checking so it will fail your upgrade okay so that is the reason why first of all we do everything in a sandbox the sandbox we have to ready with all these things then 
you can start something in the production server as we discussed. Then you have to clean up profile directories only. Uh, you have to clean up your all profile directories. Only relevant profile should be there. All backup profile should be present and removed from locations. Okay. So there are some many nodes. SAP will help you with the many nodes. So you have to follow that nodes before starting the upgradation. Okay, cleaning up inbound and outbound queues and performing kernel upgrades if required. Okay. Archive like modes off if required at any stage. In Oracle, we have an archive log mode on or off. So whenever it requires off, you can off, you can on, you can on it also. And generate XML file from solution manager. This is the main thing. This is the main thing in the system. You have to generate a XML file. You have to generate an XML file in case of your failures. With the, with the help of that file only, you can do the upgrade activities. With the help of that only, you can do upgrade activities. In XML file, what do you get? You will get a source release and you will get a target release. In XML file means you can do, you can upgrade this with the help of uh, this uh, solution manager only. and download software packages. Download all software packages into your file. So for this, sir, I will take one solution manager session also. In that, I will show you what all the prerequisites we require to do download all these things in your system, okay? And you need to decide uh, how many dialogue process and background process we require. If you want to increase, increase. If you want to decrease, decrease and the increased memory as for the infrastructure capacity, increased CPUs also as for the, uh, depending upon availability of RAM and CPU, you have to increase and decrease the things, okay? Then what are the learning and challenges you will see in this phase is update your strategies manually before upgrade start. This all comes under uh, database. You have to upgrade, your, if, you, if you do update strategies, it will remove all your junk files it will re-index whole database, which will synchronize the database and make some less space. If it is in Terra, uh, it will minimum reduce 10 to 20 GB space, okay? And increase PSAP temple space. PSAP te table space is there in your Oracle. You have to increase 20 GB of space. 20 GB means if it is 20% space. If it is a uh, the 200 GB, then you have to increase 40 GB according to the size, okay? and you have to create one extra table, okay? Table space, it called PSAP SR3 740. It's called as PSAP SR3 740, but actually we have only seven table space in the system, but for upgradation, we have to create this one more uh, table space called PSAP SR3 740 in very advanced, because for upgrade, it will require eight table spaces. Huh? But if you install EHP8 system, you will get all table spaces well in advance, okay? Because in PHP8, you will get this table in advance itself, okay? All this we have done. Yeah, all this we have done. Now we'll see the actual steps, okay? What all the phases we require for do the upgradation, okay? It's the installation of new ERP system software version together with the accumulation of all relevant fixes from the one support pack to other support pack. See, these are the some steps, okay? Administrator, user password, welcome, specific credentials, select target, confirm target, execute target. This is the first step, but these are the, these are the main steps, initialization, execution, extraction, configuration, checks, pre-processing, execution, post-processing, and finalization. These are the steps you need to follow you have to do all these steps one by one to complete your success, uh, upgradation successfully. 
So what you need, what you need to do for all these things before starting all these things, you have to install maintenance license. You have to define your software. Okay. You have to create business users with all SAP all before starting upgrade, and all all apply patches. Okay, and turn off your backup. Okay. See, this is the main thing. Do not use at the rate character in your database passwords. Otherwise, system will not up any time. You have to remember also whenever you install SAP uh, any database, you never use at the rate in between. Otherwise, your database will not install at any cost. Okay, calculate statistics. All these th 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 things are there. You have to follow all these things. Then start your upgrade according to your notes. Okay. First of all, you have to log in with SID ADM, okay, and then go to upgrade. This is a folder you have to create, sum sum, and dot slash startup will start your GUI in uh, it's it's give a graphical user interface to you where you can start your upgrade, where you can start your upgrade. Now this is the main thing where you have to do. Okay, what is the initialization phase? What is the initialization phase? Once you click on next phase, go to extract initialization phase. Nothing. It will initialize all your files and club it to one place because initialization it will read all your system hardware, RAM, CPU, and the files which you are given. It's okay. Then it will go to next phase. What phase is the extraction phase? Once you click on extraction phase, it will ask you for the DDIC password and also database user system password. Okay, the extraction phase will extract the relevant files from download directory. The but the in ESP when you while you decide to do ESP upgrade from ESP 624 to 607, it has got minimum 1000 1200 files within the download directory. It has to extract everything properly. Extract means uncar, unzip. Instead of you don't unzip, system will unzip. At that time, it will ask you for some passwords, okay? And it will ask you for the uh, it will uh, it will ask for SAM update. If it's already updated, no problem. If it's not update, you have to update this year. It will take time, okay? And we have we have previously we used to use SAP up ESPI. Now we use some tool, okay? For this. Some upgrade. First we do ESP. First we use ESP I tool. Now we are using some tool for the upgrade. Now we use the configuration part. This is the main part. Here we mainly choose standard option. Okay, and don't check the checkboxes about the archiving and export mode. It will ask for number of process. Here, here one screen will come. Here it activate for the. Here it will consider about uptime and downtime. It's considered about the uptime and downtime where it will ask for the patch jobs, DDL jobs, R3 turn jobs. Patch jobs, you can keep by default, it will take three, 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 but the three up, three down, three up, three down for batch, for DDL, for R3 turns. But if you have a good enough RAM, there is a calculator, ESP upgrade calculator is there. With that calculator, you can decide on depending upon your RAM. If you have more RAM, you can increase uptime and downtime because if you give more uptime downtime things so depending upon that it will read those many parallel processes at one time and try to finish up your things as well as possible if you keep default it will take more time if you have a in, enough hardware you can increase it okay she usually we keep default value after two weeks we will get another screen which will ask for add-ons java configuration step starts with some tool you can choose it to automatically update all additional dialog instances if any so if you have a dialog instance also all will get updated automatically then this configuration phase will it will not take more time now check phase will come this is the main space okay it will check for the spaces in the databases this is the last step where it checks everything. If you want to create new table space also, you create here also, create new table. If you cross this, you cannot do anything. Now we go to pre processing phase. In this phase, some prepares for the system upgrade. Okay. System has to change option two. See, we have a transition code AC06 where you can change your system status to modify state. Modify state means now you 
modify everything in the system. We permit system to go and modify your system because only production the development system we keep on and quality production we always keep off because nobody has right to change anything in quality and production. But while doing upgradation, you have to do this functionality on to do upgrade. Okay, and we have to take backup. If you reach till this step, you have to keep your backup step ready, backup ready, and keep it someplace. Because if you fail at any phase after this, you can restore system to this level because it take already one or two days to come here. You have to take backup. Okay, then execution phase. Execution phase means what? This is the phase where your actual system update starts. Okay, and your system is going to downtime phase. Your Upgrade starts and system goes into a downtime phase. It's take a long time. And once you complete execution, you completely take backup again. It means if you fail after this, you can restore system to this level. Then fifth is post force processing phase. Here you can unlock your system will be unlocked and downtime finished. In this phase, you have to do some manual activities and you can after that. The final phase will come, but before handing our system, after doing all these things, before handing our system with all things, with all upgrade things, when you are going to hand our system to the users, end users, you have to take a final backup because after handling system, if somebody demolishes the system in a day or two, you can restore system to the finalization phase, but then you have to keep three backups. Was that pre processing phase, after pre processing phase, after the execution phase, and after finalization phase? Because many times what happened, you did everything for three, four days and you handle system to client, and second day you call, okay, system is not working. Let's check what happened. Then they, they made some irrelevant mistakes in that. It will not work. So don't do anything. You just keep that uh, backup with you for one or two months, you can restore at any point of time. So these are the some prerequisite post requisite step to do EHP upgrades. And EHP upgrades in nowadays is a must activity because if you are in an older version, if you are in an older version of a system, you have to upgrade system because SAP allows, SAP uh, will not support any EHP after eight years. If you are on same ESP version, the SAP will not support and your system will not function as a new system because time to time you have to do upgrade, upgrade your ESP things on timely manner. Like most of the companies do all this after every two, two years. Two, two years, whatever patches. First of all, if you don't want to upgrade your ESP level, uh, just update your support pack level continuously. Like it's the activity of in our uh, in our business, in our clients, we update all this every three months. So what happened? It will not give a burden to us. But when major releases and major process changes, at that time you have to do an EHP upgrade one after every three years. But in India, many upgrades are happening at the time of Diwali. Like in Diwali, they keep company closed for two to three days, a whole week also. That is the most feasible time in India where people do EHP. I also included in, I was also in upgrade many, two, three times, but uh, always in a long weekend, like uh, any Republic Day business hours, not possible to do production. I can play with development quality and pre-production, but when you start with activate production, you have to take proper downtime. You have to take extra 10 hours downtime. If anything went wrong, you can back up our system to the right place in right order, in right manner. okay? This is what we would like to discuss Partha in today's topic. Okay, so we will meet 